Day after day, the haunting continued. I never thought it would stop, especially the way it did. For months, my friend's mother would tell me to let my grandmother know that she could get rid of the spirit in my home. My grandmother ignored her offer, unsure of exactly what methods she would be using. Then one day she showed up unannounced. It was mid-afternoon and I was in the kitchen making a snack when I heard a knock on the door. It was my friend's mom. I instantly became uncomfortable because I knew what was about to happen. The conversation about the haunting picked up and it was too much for me. Anger rose up inside me. I was so afraid they were gonna make it mad and it would take it out on me. The women moved in the direction of my grandfather's room. I watched my grandma put the key in the door and twist the knob and open it. She stood in the hallway as my friend's mother walked in. She cautiously entered the room and said she could feel the evil presence. Then I watched in terror as she boldly stated to the spirit, no, you're not coming home with me. I was in shock that she spoke to it face to face and in such an aggressive manner. She continued to talk to the spirit, but I don't remember what else was said. I couldn't take it anymore. I had to leave. So I did, for hours in fact. I spent that time away from home, worrying about coming back home, because I knew what was lying in wait for me. But when I walked through the door, I sensed something different. The house was actually brighter and no extra lights were turned on. And most of all, that heavy, depressive, smothering feeling wasn't there anymore. It was gone. The demon was actually gone later that week, as fate would have it. My aunt, along with members of her church, showed up unannounced and blessed our home. It's something they just felt led to do. I'm eternally grateful for what my friend's mother did, but unfortunately for her and my friend, the demon wasn't forced out of my home. It followed her. The haunting didn't stop. It just moved to a different house. Many of the same events that happened to me would happen to them. They all would see objects moved all around their home. They would see shadows lurking. My friend, being the skeptic that he is, would even admit to me that he got scared the night that his radio came on full blast in the middle of the night and woke him up. His door was locked. No one was in there. There was no explanation. But thankfully for them, their haunting seemed to start fast but end even quicker. As the years passed, the events that took place in my home shaped who I was. It seemed like even though the demon wasn't living in my home anymore, it still had a way to control me by living in my head. I was terrified of the subject. The moment anyone mentioned the word ghost or spirit, much less demon or evil or Satan, I would leave the room. I refused to watch any scary movie. Even if it was a comedy, making fun of scary movies, I could not do it. Because I was terrified that giving it any thought would allow it back in my life. As years passed, it would come back in my life. But I never would have thought like this.